Howdy y'all, this is Texas Gaming Industries here, and welcome to episode 23, part 6 of my Let's Play of Transport Fever 2. In the previous episode, we connected to the town of Candy and started producing coffee and getting our services started with transporting food and machinery to said town. And in this episode, we're going to continue on delivering coffee down to Colombo, as we're now starting our extension to connect to the town of Nuwara Ilaya. Or however it's pronounced. The coffee industry in Ceylon is still very traditional. Most of the work is done by hand. Transport brand new English machines to the town of Nuwara Elia, the center of the coffee region, so that productivity can be increased. Yeah. So we're gonna get started with that extension. However, I'm starting to wonder if my passenger trains would be okay entering the station platform. I think I might have to change the, to the platform this train enters. In case if this commuter train is stuck at that same station platform. At least, however, it can't enter a different platform. Or not. Anyway. So, we'll build a track to the right here. And build a track up the mountainside. This is not going to be easy, nor is it going to be cheap. We'll then connect this side, allowing a Y track to be made for an express that will take it to the upper end of the line. Alright. Oh, and we got some new vehicles. The mid-042 tank engine. Tender engines. Sweet. So at least some of our engines are starting to get a bit of the calves. However, I feel like we need to take out a little bit more money for the extension. Let's take out about a loan of 120 million pounds. We'll build out. And then we'll basically start to basically begin the climb up. Now, because of the steep at altitude of the line, we'll have to basically build up from the side of the mountain. If we build up the side like this way, everything, it should basically allow us to climb up without building expensive tunnels or bridge work. Actually, let's get rid of this. that and do that and finally make the ground a little more smoother do that That at this and finally just build over this little gorge and then finally set the track to natural climb and basically add another tunnel and that should basically complete the entirety of the line up into the mountains. Let's see. Do 
that. Hmm. It's gonna cost a lot of money. In the meantime, we'll just place down this station here, for now, and then just expand on it. Alright. We'll add another set of tracks to this. And basically add a little more here. And then finally work on making this train station more accessible. And as roofs, and that should basically do it. It's going to take a little bit of time before we get the entirety of the line connected, so I'm going to cut this video right here, and I'll see you all in just a moment once the entirety of the track is completed and fitted with signals. So I'll be right back. And we're back. Now with the track work finished, as well as connecting to the town of Nura El Li, well, this town, we can now start operations. So first of all, I want to extend this road a bit up so I can deliver some coffee berries by a wagon. And I'll basically pick some up from this plantation not too far from town. Do it like this. This. That. And this. And I basically want to make sure that the road looks pretty nice, so I'm going to get rid of some of those textures. And with the station now basically in that area, the only things that will be operating in this area will be wagon convoys. Now then, let's get some services set up. First of all, there will be a new express service running from here. It'll pass through here to here on track one. Well, actually, track two, because it's a straight f direction in. Actually, track one. And then just head back through the other direction on the return trip. You will stop in Hatton on track one, and you will return on track two. Paint this red, and this will be Express Drain B. The express train will basically serve the town. Town to Colombo. This local service will serve the town of Ratnapura. Local train E is what it will be called. And let's get some freight in the service. Load, 10 minutes, blue, freight, train, C2, coffee, berries, and train D1, well, D2, Colombo. be freight train D2 coffee beans and now to deliver machine food up to here this will be freight train F food to Hatton
you will pick up machinery and deliver it on track two. Actually, let's change this to track three. You will be freight train G machinery to here. As for the first, the second coffee be train, it's going to be on track two. Of course, I'll also have to set up another wagon convoy. This will be wagon convoy C. Green, full load of 10 minutes. And let's get some of our vehicles in service. All right, that's in service. Oh, I actually forgot. I gotta get this local service from Hatton to the city. Local train E, I believe. Nope. Local train F. Oh, I actually put them in the wrong spot. So, this one is train... This one will be train F, and this is local train E. Much better. Alright. The stations are all set up. Let's buy, let's place down some bus stops. Place, in, place this in town. And set up another carriage route. This will be Bus Service D, yellow, and will operate four of these stagecoaches to serve the town's station. Hmm. You know, with the deliver with these new engines, I could replace many of these aging locomotives with that new type. Let's see. Ah, here we go. 042 tender engine. Mid. That'll be 2.95 million pounds. Let's get it up to about 110. Looks like I'll have to reset it then. This, this, and this. Not enough money. Hmm. All right. Okay, free trains are set. Let's see. We now have to earn a little bit more money in order for us to acquire some extra equipment to operate on our new services. Not the same, doesn't look too bad for an early era freight engine. Alright, let's see. We'll copy local trains D and C. You go on on local train E, you go on local train F.
copy this, put it on Express Train B. Let's see. Coffee berries. I'm going to replace this engine with something a little more suitable for the grades and for the distance. You copy, and then I'll put you on the coffee bean service. And I'll be cloning both of you. Oh, not enough money. Guess I'll have to build up my loan again. Let's put it at 170 million pounds. That should basically cover it. Food and machinery. Perfect. I have this blue, it should be black. Thankfully, I can easily modify the trains even if they're out on the line. Which reminds me. And that basically should fix the problem. Ooh, this one needs to be replaced as well. Alright. Oh, I haven't even gotten on the train for the coffee berry service. I need to reassign that to C2. And also change this to this color. Well, it seems like my shipments of food and machinery are actually helping the candy grow pretty well. There's tons of coffee waiting to be brought. And a lot, and I delivered over over 337 units. Just a little bit more, and it should be perfect. At least this train's picking up machines, and this one's both of those are picking up food and machinery. I might as well change this to something a little more reasonable on this branch. Following problem five, train five, train six. Oh, great. I'm hoping this is not going to be a problem for the rest of the episode. There's already tons of coffee bean and berries waiting, and there's a lot of trains traveling up the line. Surprisingly, our new Express doesn't have any passengers on board, but that will change. Now, passengers can easily travel up to the sit to this summit station here without having to take a long hike or travel by wagon or by horse. Plus, coffee be berries have been brought in by the wagons, so coffee is now being produced, so we should be able to get everything finished just before this contract is completed. There's still a lot of food and machinery waiting. Not to mention, this one is only supposed to pick up machinery. And unload. And you pick up food and drop it off.
120, 120. That's quite a long train. But if it, it, if it gets delivered from the port down to an area where my trains can pick it up, that is totally fine. Because since there's so much storage available in these platforms, I'll be able to make sure that that's everything. Though the machinery probably might have to take a while. But look at all this money that we're making. Jeez. I wonder what the last service that basically brought in all that money. I think it must have sent him a train. Who knows? And look at that! Our headquarters have grown. Awesome. This will deliver about... Ooh. That's a pretty nice profit. That was about 14.1 million pounds. But I believe... From all of this, I think we can basically call this an episode. So, if you enjoyed this episode of my... Ooh. Let's play a Transport Fever 2. Please be sure to leave a like, comment, and... Say, oh, come on. You know what? I'm deleting these two signals. It's just too much. Okay. Now... If you enjoyed this episode of my Let's Play Transport Fever 2, please be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to Texas Gaming Industries for new video uploads every Friday or Saturday, depending on my outside schedule. And as always, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye!